previously on this guy's garage. Also a side note that's in this technical service bulletin is all trucks manufactured after October 2019 had widen range dipstick installed from the factory. Look on your door jam if your truck was produced after October of 2019. Your truck already has the widen dipstick in it. Right now I just yeah. want to get rid of my yeah. headache but yeah. it's not right to pass it on to someone else. No that's right but in good conscience that's why you're trading it in. Yes. You know. I have no other option. Yeah. Uh, and you know like I, I've, I've found it particularly interesting since we, we did the three videos on this truck that yeah. now they don't want you in it especially when we yeah. what was coming up next was how much how wide is the range yes because it's more than 1.9 liters yeah. that they say it is we just proved it here guys garage like and subscribe so you just came back from uh my weekly maintenance program you, you, Ford. yeah so uh they said they were going to do an oil consumption test and uh, i did talk to the service manager i won't say his name but um i told him about their f beautiful fix for the oil consumption and yeah. the longer dipstick yeah. <laughs> as we know yeah and i told him that we're doing it we did an oil consumption check uh, and i did go to halifax on the weekend and it did use up quite a bit of oil, probably a good quart of oil to go up and back. Yeah. That, that was... But they told me they topped it off today. Yeah, so they topped it off. They're going to do an oil consumption, but they topped it off. But they told me not to worry because it was within the range. Yeah. <laughs> so we know it was down a quart of oil because we just finished yeah. doing our oil consumption test. Yeah. All right, so um, since they topped it up, I'd like to have a look at your dipstick. And... Uh, see what the top of the range is because this is there they filled it up so now we'll know now, the, now we know it's full we know it's full and uh tomorrow we'll take take some oil out of it we'll find the bottom of the range and we'll measure how much oil it takes to get to the top of the range okay. let's see what the top of the range is <laughs> It up, eh? They topped it up, yeah. Told me not to worry, it was within the range. It was within the range. So, as you can see here, it's filled to the top eye hole. That's the top of the range. See in that pan? Yeah. yeah. Tell me when you think it's about three quarts. How far up the pan? Right there. All right. Do you want to? Can you check the oil? Yeah. See me from getting it. Well, that's some good looking oil. Whatever. When they changed that? Three weeks ago. Yeah. Jesus. So what I'm going to do is, once we find the bottom of the range, yeah, yep. I'll, uh, if you've got a Sharpie or something here, yep. I will mark the stick for every quart we put in. Okay. Whatever you put in there, just put, try to put the same in that will, and we'll start with a fresh bottle. We'll give this to five minutes and leave it a, leave everything yes. off to the bottom. Make sure that yes. it's all the protocol. Okay, she's on the, the bottom ad mark right there. Okay, we're there now. Okay, so, so we're at the bottom of the range. See how yep. many quarts it takes to make it to the top of the range. Okay. I'm going to grab right. a Sharpie. We'll grab a Sharpie. Oh, I broke my... So, there's the bottom of the range. And we're right at it. And it's nice, clean oil, yep. too, look. 
My God, it's nice when it's clean. <laughs> Honest to God. <laughs> Just check this one more time. Yeah. I just want to make sure that we got the the right marks. In the right marks. Okay. Yeah, that's right on the bottom of the mark. Okay. Yeah, you can see it here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Add one quart and we'll mark the stick. What I'll do, I'll leave that other half of the piece of quart out. Yep. And then we'll go from there. We'll leave it sit and we'll mark the stick. Flood the pan out. Yeah. All right. We'll let that sit for a minute. So we added one quart in, marked it with a Sharpie, took the stick out. Dried it off, marked it, and checked it again. So this is where one quart of the range is. All right, I had, I had a second quart. Okay. I think we're safe to add a second quart. Ford Premium Motor Oil. Yes, straight from the dealer. That's it for yeah, we'll set, let that sit for a minute and we'll put a second mark on the stick in white. Yep. All right. All right. I'd like to know who works in your engineering department when they come up with a fix like that. Oh, <laughs> somebody probably got a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess if they can, if they can get away with it, get eh? away with it, and if you get a hundred thousand people. Not complaining. Well, if you don't got to put an engine in a hundred thousand trucks. Yeah, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. A lot of hay there. So when we checked the oil, because they just topped you all up in this truck today, it was at the top of this mm -hmm. dot. So two quarts oil, it brought it right to here. I'm gonna mark that, put a mark on it, check it with the ping pen, and uh, we'll bring it up, see how much it takes to bring it up to the last little bit. Okay. All right. So we got a mark there. This, this is a ping pen, so we'll leave that dry for a minute. Yep. And we'll check the oil, see where it's at, and we'll bring it up to the the top of the dot, and uh, go from there. And we'll go from there. See how much it takes to bring it up to there. So we'll put it in a quarter at a time. So that oil is up to the top of the white line, and the full mark where it was, because it was just in for service today. So uh, they topped up the oil, and it was at that top high circle so that's where we're going to put it back to and see how much it takes how many liters of oil so put a quarter in quarter quarter of that fine motor craft okay this one what, what, what do you want yeah we'll put motor craft oh jesus ford does not meet all this 5w20 yeah so put a quarter of that and we'll just keep checking it and we'll we'll add as necessary as the technical service bulletin says we'll add as necessary till it comes to the top of the yeah okay but how much is that do you figure uh, i can tell you exactly what it is not even a quarter before yeah that we'll, we'll just go a, a quarter a little bit at a time yeah. because it's this we'll is gonna, it, this when is we a, get to the point then we'll know what we use then. yeah yes so when, because now with the oil is starting to creep up over the pan, yeah, it's not going to go up as fast. No, it's, it's a wider range. That's where your wider that's range. That's where your wider range comes <laughs> from. Yeah. The oil's so clean now; it's hard to see. <laughs> okay. We should have dumped the dirty oil back in. Okay. Add another. Another. Two hundred mils. We'll see. Go 
Hurry up and wait. Yep. About five minutes. Every bit of it. We're taking this real slow because we don't want to overshoot. Our runway. Okay, we'll put another 200 mils in it. How much is that? Do we use it or that's over? Uh, almost half a half a quart. All right, uh, another quarter. Quarter of it. Or put a put a, a little less or a little uh, more. Whatever you put in the last time. Three hundred millimeters left. So we mark the stick. We have three hundred left. And uh, put some light on it. There is three hundred mils left. 2.7 liters, which is probably three quarts. Um, that's a big variance. That's a big variance. <laughs> yeah, 2.7 liters would be three quarts. So yeah, that's it. It's not right. It's it, but it's not right. Yeah, it's it's criminal. That's and that's if he's got a Bible, I'll swear on it. I will too. Yeah, I'm told for your hair. Yeah. We're not as big as Ford Motor Company, but we're more honest. Yes. So, uh, and they said they started an oil consumption test today, but there's not a mark on that dipstick, so no. I don't know what, what they're checking for. Yeah. Because uh, the technical service bulletin, uh, the original technical service bulletin for the, uh, the oil consumption test was at 7.9 liters, then at another quart. And then mark the stick on both sides. And when they put these dipsticks in, they just said add oil as required, not given any measurement for no. how much oil that. Because was. they don't know what they got in the pan. Yeah, you know. Just keep going. And going. Just keep going until it comes yep. to this line. And so they probably didn't <sighs> factor it in themselves. <laughs> well, I, I would say what they did, if if I had a guess, is put ten quarts of oil in it, make a stick to fit. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's basically what, that's what they did. Yeah. You know. And again, that that would be splashing up with the crank. And yeah. Your cylinders. And, yeah. And I mean, yeah. We're not benefiting by yeah. it. We're just being yeah. honest, and we're yeah. trying to trying to point them at their, show them their own yeah. problem that yeah. they know they have. Yeah. So, three quarts, or two point seven liters. Yeah. It's more than it's one. It's more than one point nine quart. I think that pan is jammed with oil. Yeah. There's too much oil in it because yeah. it's a bath now. Yeah. It's and not a. You're just going to soak the crank. Yeah. Everything's going to be firing up in the. It's beating around. Cylinder. It's actually going to make it consume more or worse because now it's putting it, putting it on a, putting it on a cylinder wall that it's yeah. already at a war. Yeah. Like it because it's, it's getting by there now. You're yeah. just putting more in there. Yeah. So yeah. So it doesn't you're, make sense. They're just letting it eat. Yeah. Dipstick measured, and now would be a great time to hit that subscribe button. Guys Garage, like and subscribe.